Ooh, I look like a dang mountain man. I need to shave. Uh, hi, everybody. It's been like a week since I've made a video, so I'm so excited to get back into it. You're like, where was I, right? Well, I've been putting well over a thousand, not well over, but a thousand miles on my brand new Model Y. And it's been a lot of things. It's been anxiety inducing because again this is my first ev so uh we'll get into that like the charging station things is like a whole new world so that was a big part of it i did a lot of like range tests because it's been freezing it's been like uh, 32 degrees or lower uh all all week so I've, I've got a lot of experience driving the y in the winter elements and I even did like a, a 50 mile or so test of like uh, the range or miles that Tesla said I would consume versus what it actually consumed. Um, I've done so much this week and I filmed it all. So I'm sitting down now to try to like lay out a timeline and we'll, we'll just dive into all this cool stuff because it's been, I keep saying this, it's like a total trial by fire. Like <laughs> you name it, I've experienced it already in this car. And I'm, I'm so excited that I just like dove right in because I've already learned a lot. I've made some mistakes. I've, you know, you name it, <laughs> it's all happened. The thousand miles of traveling was a trip home, uh, a trip to see uh, another family, a group of family from my parents' home. And then uh, back to Grand Rapids area. If you're not familiar with Michigan, that's about like a 150 mile drive in between there. And then I just got back on a ski trip because the second I got home, I headed 200 miles up north and back. So uh, that plus just normal driving in between there, which it got to, I added up miles really quick so uh let's let's talk about that first kind of adventure was all about cargo that was one of my biggest fears of this car is I'm moving from a Jeep Grand Cherokee which as you know is a pretty big car um and even with that we have all the baby stuff especially around Christmas we're bringing home gifts like I was really worried can I fit everything in that car so we're going to cut now to my experience packing up stuff into the Model Y um we had a lot of stuff and we were able to well I'll let's just cut to the video because I don't want to spoil it these are just the gifts I have to fit in the car, by the way. And then all of our luggage is upstairs. This might be a nightmare. Mamma mia, we have so much stuff to take. Okay, and then this all has to fit as well. Look at how dirty she got already. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need this for charging at home. I hid a layer under here, and then we'll be able to stack this. I guess it's time to open this bad boy up and start filling up in there. That fits a lot. This thing is a lifesaver. All right. I might even be able to fit a couple other random things in here. All right, that whole pile was able to fit right here and I fit one more thing under here. We're looking really good so far because now it's just our personal stuff which is a couple bags and a couple baby bags, which will actually probably fit right there. So yeah, looking good. All right, load two. All right, we just put that baby stuff up here and I've got all those piles you've seen packed in here already. <laughs> Pretty easily, I have like tons of room to spare. I don't even have to use the frunk, I don't think. This is great. All right, let's get that last little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm probably gonna put a towel down here for the dog. Let's go do that. Never underestimate the power of an old fitted sheet. It brings the cool factor down, Emma, but it brings the resale value up. Dad, yeah. Exactly. So that's all the luggage with room to spare, I'd say. We haven't even touched the frunk, so a uh, total success on the on the packing. This car rules. Guess it doesn't matter what you do. If you lay down sheets, the dog will find a way to cause the chaos. Oh well, it is fine. This car is bound to get Dad, dirty Dad, eventually. Dada, Dad. Dad, Dad, yes. I just found the worst part about this car. So there was a little bit of snow right here. And when you open the trunk, it totally just slid all over. Luckily, 
I don't think it did too much. Ugh, look at this. Ugh, lessons learned the hard way, am I right? So as you can see, it killed it on the on the packing. Like we didn't even use the front trunk on the way there. That is a whoosh moment if I've ever had one. Because like I said, I was scared that this was going to be a downsize, and you know we wouldn't be able to use it for like family trips. But that's so far from the truth. It my even my wife who who's been a little bit skeptical about it was like impressed of, about how much it could uh, handle and it was storage wise. So that was that was really cool to like. You know, Christmas is probably the biggest time where we're packing stuff because, you know, giving and getting presents, like we were, we have extra stuff to haul plus our own stuff. So if it can handle that, I feel relieved. So up next was the range test. Okay, I'm doing a quick partial experiment here. Uh, just because I've got a lot of questions already about how this is handling the cold weather. So it's 31 degrees as you can see out right now. Um, we are going on a quick trip, kind of quick trip. So it's about 53 miles away. And the Tesla says we have 190 miles of range. So I figure we'll just do a really short experiment to see if this really goes down by 53 or if it does kind of like I think in the cold weather and it goes down by almost like double that. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about this range test real quick. I have the numbers in front of me right here. So I had 190 miles of charge remaining. We were traveling uh, a, a total distance of 53 miles. So uh, the weather, of course, is going to be a factor. I'm aware of that. So it was 31 degrees. And so making it there, my total, uh, my total mileage went down to 118. So just for a quick estimate, that's a 53-mile trip on, on Tesla's paper, we'll say, uh, actually took down 72 miles off the odometer, which you can kind of do the math from there to say, well, what is your actual full range? So let's calculate that real quick. So I just did, you know, I'm, I know this is not super scientific, but just some basic like cross multiplication, uh, knowing what we just found out. Uh, and, and I went from Tesla's website where it says 318 is their total estimated range. So that means their 318 uh, mileage real world is actually closer to 234 uh, is what I got is what I'm getting and uh you know you know I guess double check my math because I'm far from a mathematician but that it seems about right if you had to ask me and so 234 in cold conditions it's it's livable it's totally livable you know that's it's not the end of the world but it, it's interesting and I think it's pretty good to to you know know these real expectations I had a couple people ask me in my comments about how the winter is affecting the model Y and and that's what I thought of to do to kind of like, you know, examine that issue a little bit uh, only because I have not totally, you know, dug into it. But that's at least a good view into what it what it was like. So uh, now we know that. <laughs> and now uh, to end this video was another I think uh, I said, yeah, like 400 some mile trip uh, up skiing with my friends, which was a great time. Uh, shout out Brian. If you watch this uh um, channel. I guess you've seen him do some podcasts with me. Uh, I was with all my buddies, the the engineering group. <laughs> you guys would like them for real. There's like uh, a Ford engineer. We got a GM engineer. We got another GM guy. Uh, yeah, lots of car dudes in our friend group. <laughs> uh, and yeah, no matter how much I bug them. Oh, uh, another friend at Dodge too. So um you name it, they won't give me inside news. I've tried, <laughs> but maybe someday. Uh, I don't know. So that's how we're on this video. It was a fun, amazing trip skiing for the first time of the year. So, all right, new update around the corner. Excited. Let's see. Damn, I just got used to the old version. <laughs> all right, let's try the light show. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, trip number three in this bad boy. We are now headed snowboarding. Literally just got home yesterday, and it's my buddy Brian's 30th birthday, so we're all headed up to the hill for the night. So, let's add it in the video. We got one mega travel video, and it's still like, I haven't even owned this car a week. I'm gonna have probably almost a thousand miles all said and done. Maybe, 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 maybe. That's wild to think about. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, about to take off here. I think I'm going to have to, or I know I'm gonna have to charge. Let's, uh, this is a different trip. It's kind of interesting. The other one was a straight trip that I recorded. Uh, this one will be a trip where I have to charge in between because it's a decent drive up north. So uh, let's type it in here. I'll actually have it save Shaney Creek Resort. All right, so we're stopping in. On Summit Street for 50 feet. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna follow this Tesla. I'd rather have a full charge. It wants me to just do 25 minutes. Oh, that probably is a full charge, and then I'll get to the place with 20. Oh boy. I brought my charger just in case, and I know that there's a charge point uh, charger that I can use with an adapter at the resort, so that should be pretty good, but all right, let, let's get started. Okay, I wanted to point something out that I just found pretty interesting. <clears throat> so, as you see up here, my range is about 101 miles. The supercharger I'm heading to is less than 30 miles away, I believe it says, and what I just, it, I don't know, I didn't Maybe you guys can answer in the comments or something, but it thinks I'll get there with 7% remaining. And to double check, I'm at 30 now. Again, I should only be hacking into my mileage by like 30 miles, but yet it thinks I'll have 7% 7, 7 remaining, which is pretty low. Maybe that maybe that's right. Maybe 7% is, uh, I don't know, 30 miles or so. And it, even if it takes double, right? And then, so my other theory here, which is probably correct, is the fact that I'm preconditioning the battery, it's pretty cold out, it's 31 degrees right now. Maybe the fact that it's driving while preconditioning uh, is, is gonna take double the mileage. So I've been watching these miles take off and it's, you know, definitely not going a full mile, but even at double, you'd think I'd have more than 7%. So I don't know, it just, I find it a little curious. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that for when we get there. Uh, pretty interesting stuff though. Alright. Okay, we're rolling up here. Not a single car. Uh, I've charged four times now, and this is my first time being all by myself. Yeah, I know battery's low. Okay, so just to check in on what I was saying there, we made it at 10% instead of the 7% it said, and then the miles, it does still have 32 miles, so it's actually kind of accurate, which is good. Um, I thought 7% or 10% would make this like way lower. I'm just bad at math, I guess. So what I'm gonna hopefully do is for the first time, see, I don't wanna go all the way. Oh, is there something in between? Because I am on a trip, I'd like more range. Yeah, let's go there. It will take longer, but I got videos to edit and I'm gonna go get food inside too. All right, let's juice up, baby. All right, let's see what we're getting. Come on, baby. If I can get to 150, I'd be a happy boy. Look at that, guys. Ugh. Hopefully it stays around here most of the charge. I'll take 130. 145, <laughs> we're close. That's pretty great. It's probably, uh, that might be max. So I'll just step now, 300 miles. Uh, I ended up going to 92% or wait, uh, so it's right here. Yeah, 92%. I love the quickness after a full charge. Off to the ski hill. So one more thing I wanna add in here is just this new update. And the most, if not, or the best feature, if not most underrated, has to be the fact that they added uh, the camera view. So when you have your blinker on, 
you can totally see your entire blind spot if there's any cars or anything and I love that personally because I don't know about you but I can just get so anxious sometimes I could do mirror blinker head check all day long and still think I'm gonna hit a car just because like I don't know maybe just being paranoid or whatever but I like it it's like a really good like peace of mind setting and it's like they've had it here like why not put it on right so they finally added it and I love it uh, I know like Hyundai's and Genesis and maybe some Kia's even uh, do that in like their instrument instrument cluster if, when they have the digital one they'll actually like like if this was like your speedometer right here when you have your blinker on that turns to like a camera in your mirror which I, again I just think is an awesome feature and hopefully we don't need these things much longer I am uh, finishing up for the day. I uh, got a couple good runs in there. Feeling a little out of shape, if I'm being honest. Uh, excited for some snowboarding this year. I only went about like one time last year, so I've already met that, and it's the beginning of the year, so excited to get out more. Anyway, uh, yeah, great time. Headed home now. What are we at? We got, oh, I there was a charge point here that was pretty great, by the way. Um, it wasn't like really fast or anything, but I just plugged in the whole day, went from about 29% to 60% for about, I think it was 10 bucks even, which is not too shabby. Now turn right to stay on Shanta Creek Road. Okay, thank you. So yeah, it was, uh, you know, I got that little extra cushion. I'll still probably stop and supercharge on the way home. It is a hundred mile trip home, so I'll probably do one charge. Oh no, hundred and... It's just 100 miles to the supercharger, so I could technically do it. It says I have 200 miles saved on here. Hmm. We won't risk it, though. <laughs> no, I'll probably do a closing. So, yeah, we'll wrap this up here. And that's all I got. Well, first of all, thank you. You watched this much of the video without getting, you know, so over. Or maybe you're hate watching. I, I mean, the views still count, so thank you. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm always so excited when new people start watching these videos. So thank you in particular. And everyone else, you know, again, thank you for coming back. I, you know, the news, it's the first of the years right around the corner. And we are going to get some crazy EV news right around the corner. I bet there's something brewing with EV tax credit news, like stay glued. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, we cover it. We're on top of it on this channel. So uh, join the, the people who also enjoy hearing that and are not sick of me yet. So again, thank, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, bye. Bye, guys. That's all I got.